Good evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. I'm doing my very best to stay calm. <laughs> Not working out very well. Um, welcome to uh, The Rebel Files, your one-stop shop for everything trailer reaction related of Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. I you're not Josh. I'm not Josh. She's way sexier <laughs> than Josh. Um, okay, uh, we we knew the final trailer was coming during Monday Night Football. Uh, we've been waiting for it all for... Uh, some of us have known for several weeks that this was actually the night that it was going to happen. So we've all been sitting patiently. Um, we're going to be really honest. We watched it live yep. as part of the Monday Night Football coverage. Um, and then we just went and watched it a second time. This, yep. So this will be our third time watching it. Uh, and so we're going to, ca- we're going to point out some stuff. We're not going to do a deep dive. We're just going to react to everything that we see. That'll be and tomorrow. Then we'll, Josh and I will Josh. do, we'll do a deep dive into it and everything. But we, the, the two of us wanted to react to what we've seen so far and what we're catching. So yep. that's what we've got. That's where we're at right now. Yep. Here we go. Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> go. So that's a training remote. Nice cut. The <laughs> feeling. The force brought us together. That's Finn talking. We're not alone. No. Reinforcements. <laughs> Another good guy. Will fight if we Yay, leave stop them. it. Tantrum four. No one does. <laughs> but I do. Halo! Halo! Long have I waited. <laughs> and oh! It looked this shot. God, it's so cool. You're and that's the ghost. Together. <laughs> Is your undoing. What is that? Uh, what are you doing there, three PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Oh. Like cry over a droid. Confronting fear. Again, it's the destiny of a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Your destiny. And a wide wing. And horses. Or whatever. <laughs> nice. We're gonna talk about that. Uh. <laughs> and that's Palpatine the with you. Always. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. Yes, we know. Tickets are available now. They've already been purchased. Yeah, actually, we already uh, we have four tickets to the uh, six o'clock showing on the preview night. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna get the. Um, I was gonna get the. Uh, we're gonna talk about tickets for all first. I was gonna get the fan event ones, but they were like. 20 bucks a piece and I was buying oh, four and I was yeah. like, I, 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 pins are cool. I like, I like cool enamel pins, but the, okay. All right. I know I'm going to do a deep dive with Josh, but I want to get your reaction to what you saw and maybe what you heard in this trailer. Um, well, it, it did its job. It made me excited. <laughs> um, I think that they've, They've consistently, you know, in the, I think it was the first one where Ray um, does the the backflip over the, and then this one with the ship coming up out of the ice. And so they've had those really good kind of getcha moments in all of their trailers, which has been, which has been cool. Um, I am very happy that Kelly Marie Tran is back yes. because yes. the internet was horrible to yes. her and you should all She's be ashamed amazing. of yourself. Amazing. Yeah. Um and and droids and horse thingies riding on 
top of ships. I, I, the the one that got me this time because this is the third time we watched it is BB-8 running or rolling with them with them at the, as <laughs> they go along. It was yeah. like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, I wonder what the jungle planet is. It- so the the thought process is um, it's Dagobah or um, in the forest moon and Endor because right. everybody thinks where the the water planet where the Death Star wreckage is right. everybody thinks that's Endor and right. that makes the most sense for everything right and so that's I remember the, that from the last one and, and it, if Ewoks show up in this I may walk out there there <laughs> there may be an Ewok because if they're wrapping everything up in the Star Wars saga there will be an Ewok in it there somewhere especially if they're on Endor now it makes more sense if it's Dagobah or a Dagobah like planet, yeah. Where Ray is going to train, yeah. Um, the training remote is what they show, right? So right, and that's her throwing kinda... the helmet down with the blast shield up it was kind of a nice little homage to the Luke training. And yeah, and too. then so and then so there's the snow planet, um, uh, the Hoth. Hoth. Was there snow? Yeah, wasn't that what that ship was coming up out of? Isn't that snow? Oh yeah. Oh, that might be. And there, um, when all the Tie Fighters are flying in, it's like a giant ice. Oh yeah. Thing or whatever. Yeah, so... And it looks like there's a there's like a, um, uh, a a base or something like that. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know about the unknown regions, unknown reaches that the Empire all went into right. in the Chuck Wendig books, and right. it's been hinted at and stuff right. like that in a lot of the other books. And so that, <clears throat> all that is probably going to be where they're going to explain a lot of that. Right. And then we got some new droid fixing creature. <laughs> yeah. So they, um, they introduced him um, on Force Friday and his name has left me right now. And he is, um, he is specifically designed, he is a, a specifically for fixing, he is a droid mechanic. Right. Is what he is. Little tiny fingers. Little tiny <laughs> fingers and stuff like that. Now. Uh, this there was a leaked poster that came out where um, C three PO had uh, Chewie's uh, bowcaster and his um, bandolin on, and then in the last trailer, C three PO sits up with red eyes, and then this little right. droid thing came out, and so everybody's thinking that maybe this is like the big, big final big battle, and C three PO maybe finally grows a pair. Um, if, <laughs> If you could do that as a droid that's over a hundred years old, um, and and okay, maybe he's like sixty, um, but uh, him going into battle and that 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 scene is them kind of reprogramming him into more of a tactical battle droid, right? And that and that that kind of hint that they give. I'm get, I'm looking at my friends one last time. Before definitely they kind turn of gives into that, the bad guy. Yeah, it kind of get, t- definitely kind of gives that feel of they're going into battle, and then the yeah. next shot is the big space battle with the Y wing and all the stuff. Right. So, and then half of this could not be in the movie. So, right, right, <laughs> and, and and everything expectation wise, we will we will try to curtail. The problem with that is, um, they really haven't given us anything concrete for us us canon junkies or us fanboys to really go and say this is definitely what the story arc is going to be right we definitely know palpatine's in it we've heard his voice he was part of the voice over here and we get that shot at the end where ray's standing there and there's this thing walking towards her right a shadowed creature or something right but again whether it's real life or a forced dream or right, right. whatever we don't know um and then there's other things like we know like we know we're going to get this big epic battle yeah. between ray and and kylo we yeah. know that that's actual fight that's going to happen i'm starting to question if they are actually going against each other right and this will be a probably a part of the deep dive they go with josh because i haven't really like i haven't really been able to formulate it all in my head but in this trailer um ray has a thing that she says where every, she goes everybody says they know me no one knows me the way it, nobody knows me 
the right way is essentially I think, yeah. what she's trying to say. Yeah. And then the very next line, and that's when they're on on Endor, um, and Kylo comes out from the mist, and he says, "I know you better I, than anybody yeah, else." Yeah, I do, and, and, yeah. and I do. Yeah, and and so I think that's a more of a training montage, especially the way they're moving and stuff in the fight. And then you get another shot later on where the two of them are destroying the altar that right. was Fader's helmet and all the ashes and everything. And then you get a shot of them on some kind of bridge or deck. And Ray has her lightsaber lit and he's and she's looking at Kylo, but Kylo is just standing there and his lightsaber is not lit. Yeah. So that I so if I if I'm gonna start putting two and two and two and two and seven together, I'm thinking more of it's um they are going to redeem Kylo by having him be the one to bring Ray back from the dark side and Palpatine's gonna be trying to be the one to pull her to the dark side. Kylo's maybe. gonna be the one or maybe or... that whole scene where they destroy the altar is one of the not real scenes not to real scene. throw and, you and, off and you just gotta you gotta add the the dark rave shot that we got in the last one with the two-headed the, right. the two-ended um lightsaber so you you know i think there's a ton of misdirection here because jj doesn't want anything to happen right um little things that we have been kind of talking about the last to today that is the ghost uh, from Star Wars Rebels, um, uh, it's uh, uh, I, I think it's going to be a nice little addition like it was in Rogue One. I won't be surprised if we see Chopper in there at some point in time or, or Jason Sandula or Hera Sandula, that kind of thing. Um, we won't get Ezra or Thrawn because they haven't told that story yet. Um, and the giant team meeting thing it's obviously they got reinforcements because they were 14 on the on the right. millennium falcon <laughs> and now there's a whole room full of people right um there's a calamari in there um which is a connection to leia and and uh and and, and you know, home one was a calamari ship and like yeah. all that kind of stuff yeah. so a nice little touch back there and a guy who looks like cookie monster i don't yeah, know yeah <laughs> big blue green La hairy thing lando's in there um poe's in there it yep. looks like snap wexley's in there that kind of stuff um and then the 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 thing at the end with ray standing there with her lightsaber lit and this thing that i'm assuming is palpatine in some kind of robot version yeah walking towards her you hear luke say may the force be with you yep and then leia, leia says Always. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. May the Lord force be with you always. Yes. And it's, and it's, um, uh, a nice little, especially cause today is Carrie, would have been Carrie Fisher's 63rd birthday. And so having her kind of, you know, cap off, that's why no stinger. I'm assuming you have, Le uh, you have Carrie, you have Leia have the last word yeah. in the trailer looking at Ray just playing on to the she's a skywalker um motif and stuff we'll see yeah so uh, there's uh, there's a lot here i'm probably gonna go sit and go frame by frame there's a couple shots that i tried to catch um dominic monahan was in that shot with Kelly mary tran in yeah. the background yep. um and there's a shot where it looks like maybe finn has lost an eye or there's a glare yeah, and he's, and he's got a, like his eyes lit up, and him and Poe are in the shot together. Yeah, so. I have to go rewatch again. Uh, what's Poffin? Poen? Poen? The Poen Finn ship that, is, oh, that yeah. we all want. Was it Poffin? Po Poen? Poen? I don't. Know. I don't know. We're gonna go. We're gonna come up with something that's as nearly as foe um Hello. so that is our thoughts and our at least our initial breakdown of the rise of skywalker the final trailer we will get some like small tv spots between now and december yeah but or they'll just be a conglomeration of everything be, we've already seen we might get one or two uh like ship shots like the one with the millennium falcon and the ghost and yeah. that kind of thing so um, all that kind of stuff um so we'll probably won't get anything new let the speculation begin uh, if it hasn't already. Let us know what you thought of this trailer. We went a little bit longer than we normally do on a trailer reaction, but it's Star Wars. So what else are we going to do? <laughs> um, so let us know what you think. Uh, do you think we're going to get Jason Sindula? Do you think Matt Smith's playing Jason Sindula? That's a deep dive cut that I've been talking with people online. Let us know in the comments.
comments, like this video, help us out by subscribing and sharing it with all your friends. Help us out on Patreon. We're on all the social media stuff too. All of that information is in the description down below. And until next time, if we don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And may the force be with us. Always. always.